Hello everyone. I'm very, very happy to, to be transmitting to YouTube right now. Uh, my name is Dr. Rafael Bolio and Shirley McGinnis Ringo. With me is the beautiful, beautiful Shirley Ringo. We are working together. Thank God. Uh, and I was That's the part I was missing. Uh, Shirley is an expert in trauma, expert in trauma. And the question would be, well, what does trauma have to do with obesity? Well, everything right Shirley? for sure everything for sure. okay uh, but today we're gonna be talking about a balanced diet and she came in and I decided that uh, it would be fun for her to be with me and that uh, she will be like taking your place asking questions and I'll be answering if there's any doubts I hope there aren't any because <laughs> today we're gonna be talking about a balanced diet what, what is a balanced diet Shirley well I'm just gonna take a shot and say that it's a balance between proteins, carbohydrates, and oils in your diet? Yes, yes it is. But it turns out that they have very specific numbers. It's yes. not just I decide to balance it my way or give my quantities. And um, so let's go into the into the uh, the presentation. And oh, I don't see Shirley anymore. Such a beautiful Shirley. Well, she's still here with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just what is a balanced diet? Okay, uh, what Shirley mentioned is true, definitely. A balanced diet is a distribution of nutrients and it contains the following macronutrient distribution. The highest amount is carbohydrates. Surely it turns out that over half of our calories have to come from carbohydrates, which is against the, the diet that says that, you know, got a keto and got no carbs. And, you know, mankind will not change in the last century. And what, what mankind has been having for centuries is this, okay? Now, the number two is fats. Mm. Can you imagine, isn't that interesting? The second most important nutrient in our body are fats, and the least, they're all important. I mean, you can't live without any of them, but the one that is the least of volume or the least caloric uh, impact is proteins, okay? okay? Now, there's been a lot of research made about balanced diets, because, I mean, the, the question, came up, question came up, okay, um, let's do a balanced diet, but let's reduce calories, because yes. we want to lose weight. And then people, uh, I mean, uh, investigators uh, ask themselves, okay, where is the sweet spot? Right. How much should I reduce the calories or how much should I increase the calories to get the maximum benefit? And this research has been made, okay? Yes. If the research has been made. So it really matters which one of the three we reduce? Well, no, we have to maintain all three of them. Because okay. if we reduce calories, we have to reduce all three in the same amount. Oh, like the percentage. The of percentages each. have to okay. stay the same, yes. And we, if we increase the calories, they have to increase in the same percentage. Oh, so eating the big slab of meat and not eating any carbohydrates is not really it's a great bad. idea. It's, <laughs> not a, it's a terrible idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. So it turns out that the maximum calorie restriction benefit is achieved when a diet contains between 1,200 and 1,300 calories. That's the sweet spot. Okay. okay, that's the sweet spot. Um, less calories cause loss of lower abdominal fat. So we don't want that. We don't want to lose weight. We don't want to lose volume. We want to lose fat from the abdomen. Okay. And so we do. when we do less than 1,200 calories, we're losing weight because we're losing water or muscle, but we're not losing fat. And we're not losing especially abdominal fat. Okay. okay. Now, when we do increase it to more than 1,300 calories, then we don't lose weight that much. So it makes us sad. Yes, okay. it's like it, it feels us, like a battle. It feels like a battle, yeah. And and the question would be, okay, so what if I do increase calories? What 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 would I mean? Is, is it is it useful? Does it make any sense? Well, my opinion is that yes, it's good to go over thirteen hundred calories. Okay. Why? Okay, when you increase calories, there's a lot of reasons. And the first one is that when you increase calories, you continue to lose volume, although the loss of weight is slower. So we okay. you we're still getting where we want to go. Maybe it will take us longer, but it's going to be a more fun ride. So can you explain the difference to me when you say lose volume and then lose weight? Okay, yeah. When, when you lose weight and you're getting on the scale, you're, you're taking into account everything. Your water weight, you're taking into account your, your, uh, the fat content, you're taking into account uh, uh, muscle, uh, bones, uh, uh, kidneys, um, everything. You know, your, your heart, your lungs. And if you're losing weight, you really don't know what part of the body you're losing. And what we really want to do is we want to lose excess body fat. We don't want to lose water. I mean, I, I always give that example. 
Okay, Shirley, if you really want to lose weight really fast, then cut off a leg. You're going to lose a lot of weight. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. It still won't fit in the jeans the way I want to. <laughs> well, you well, cut both of them. You won't need jeans. <laughs> right, for sure. It's not about losing weight. It's about losing what we don't want, which is fat. Okay. Excess fat, okay? So, yeah, there are risks. Thank you. Thank you for, for helping me. Get, you know that, but I'm sure that people didn't know, and, and thank you for helping me make that a little bit clear. Now, slow weight loss is preferable since the risk of malnutrition is reduced when following a normal calorie plan. That's another reason. But here's the most important reason of all. An adequate balanced nutritional plan favors the loss of fat in the abdomen without losing fat in breast or muscle in the buttocks. Oh. Okay. Okay, so you lose it in different areas. In different areas, uh-huh. And this corresponds to an aesthetic reduction of weight and measurements. Now, you can go on the internet and 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 put in the question if you know if you can lose from areas from regions, and everyone will say no, you can't. You can't obtain body shaping with dieting. Well, of course you can if you're reducing calories. Yes. If you're restricting calories, you'll never obtain the beautiful body that you want. But if you forget about the paradigm about calories and then allow yourself to eat as much as you want as long as it's balanced. Right. Then you're going to obtain what is what is is a, a, a very aesthetic, very beautiful loss of weight and volume. Okay. So you don't look older. You're, you're, for women, your breasts don't sag. Guys, your glutes don't go away. Okay. Let wow. me tell you, Shirley, when I was working with this and trying different, different kinds of diets, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> one diet came out. I'm not going to say which one it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this doctor who came out. Very popular diet. And every time a new diet comes out, I try it out to see what happens. And uh, I did the diet. And guess what, Shirley? I was left with no glutes. Oh, no. <laughs> no my, wow. My glutes went away, and I was so sad. Cause that's, that's an old man condition. No, pardon the pun. is like, you know when your glutes go away, right, that you're kind of pushing to the other side. You're pushing to the other side, exactly. You're pushing to the other side. And uh, it took me forever to regain my glutes. Wow. But I was left, you know, b buttless. I was left gluteless. And, and here I was. He, I was already an expert in nutrition. Uh, I, I had my national weight loss registry program. There was a bunch of things I was doing as a scientist. Mm -hmm. and But I tried it out and, uh, you know, paid the price. I paid wow. the price. Um, and I have to say I paid the price a few times. And I think having the discipline to be able to watch how I balance my food because I get, I cr I get cravings. And so... Then if I'm stressed, I will eat a certain way than when I'm not stressed. When I'm not stressed, I'm, it's so much easier for me to eat what is healthy and balanced for me. Mm -hmm. And then right. I have um, a desire for a variety of foods. Mm -hmm. But totally. when I'm stressed, I don't. I only crave salty oh, yeah. foods. Oh, yeah. When I'm stressed, I don't want lettuce or cucumbers. No, <laughs> I don't crave that at all. Yeah. I'm so depressed, I'm going to eat, uh, I, uh, I don't know, uh, let us know. <laughs> no, no, it doesn't happen. And with that, add add your, that you're being like starving to death and, and sad, or yeah, then you're gonna it's gonna be a horrible diet. Yeah. Okay, so how do you do a balanced diet? Okay, you get this nutritional software, you download it from the internet. There's a bunch of them. You can choose whichever one you want, and then you start adding the fruits that you want to eat. Okay. Okay. This corresponds to my lightning diet. Okay. okay? And this is, a, this is a diet that helps you lose a lot of weight and volume. And so I put, a, I put in a lot of healthy foods, okay, and start playing around with them, going up and down, until I found the perfect sweet spot. And if you see down here, the diet has 1,270 calories, which is the sweet spot. That is. It's a sweet spot. Now, if you go to pro, uh, uh, fats, it's 29% fat, which mm -hmm. is fine, mm -hmm. close to 30%. Carbs, 54, which is fine. And protein, 18%. Okay, so this is a balanced diet which will make us lose uh, fat from the waistline. And I did other things for with the lightning diet. I added a bunch of fruits that foods that just by themselves will make you lose weight. Like for example, if you have, eat one ounce of uh, mushrooms per day, you lose weight even if you don't change anything in your oh, diet. Oh wow, I can do that. I love mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. There's and, and there's a bunch of foods like that that are precisely done so that people will go down as fast as they can. So this is like a plug and play. It right? is. So yes, it that's is. That's really cool. It is, and um, so it's not. It's not easy to create a balanced diet if you don't have this this uh, nutritional software. It's impossible. Yeah, because I impossible. really don't know when I'm looking at food. I mean, I know different fruits have different values. 
because mm-hmm. they're not all created equal and the same with with meat and everything else so if i had something as easy as this is to do a plug and play yes. then i can mix and match yes my food yes that's awesome yes it's really great and you're going to be getting this part right here that's the part that you want you want to yes. get this point now you want to go down fast without affecting your well your well your health yes. between 1200 and 1300 okay amazing that'd be cool now here's something interesting Trilly. okay because I've been asking people in my Facebook page to be adding food to their balanced diet. Okay. And what madness is this? Because I'm not asking them to, to have their own software. Yeah. I just told them, you know, add more veggies. Yeah. Okay. First week, add more veggies. Second week, here's the veggies. Second okay. week, this is an average of fruits right here. This mm-hmm. is an average of fruits. And third week, they, were, they had to be adding mixed nuts. Okay. Now, what did it do to the program? What happened to the program? Okay, so I decided to fill in this with if people would add up to six cups of salads, up to six different fruits, and up to 60 grams of nuts, let's see what would happen to the balanced diet. Okay. I mean, I'm exaggerating, okay? Okay. No one's going to have six fruits plus six cups of vegetables. Yeah. And 60 grams, plus your 1,300 calorie diet. It's a lot. But I did it so that people would not think, oh, maybe maybe I overdid it. Maybe I had too much. Right. And you're going to see right here that you can't really, when you have a balanced diet, you can't really have too many fruits and vegetables. You can't. Oh. You really can't. Watch this, Shirley. Okay, now, the calories went up. Yes. A lot. 900 calories. That's a wow, lot of food. Wow, that's a lot. It's a lot that's of food. A lot. yeah. Fiber went up hugely. It was mm-hmm. 35, now it's 67. Okay. This causes us to feel full, and it's very hard to go over 2,100 calories with 36. Even men cannot go after that. Okay? Yeah. But guess what? What happened to the percentage of fat? It stayed the same. It stayed the same. Okay. So this is the key. This is it's keeping that in balance. Then I can ha- I don't have to feel deprived. And you can add fruits and vegetables and nuts. Yes. And you'll never affect your diet. Oh man, that's okay. awesome. Isn't it yeah, awesome? no, I this this is this is a got to for me now. This I is this it. is awesome. Yeah. And now we go to carbs, and it turns out that 56% we're still in within yeah. the range. Yeah. Range and protein 13% because we didn't add any protein. Okay. But not enough to affect it, so it's still a balanced diet. Okay. Obviously, we will lose weight slower, although mm-hmm. some people lose weight faster. Yeah. 10% of the population I've seen in, over the, over my, my lifetime, they need to eat more to lose fast. Okay. okay. Mm, I'm one of them, so I'm very happy with that. <laughs> Uh, so it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. So um, we are still in a balanced diet. There okay. we go. All right. Now, the question is, what if we added some cake, some pastry? Uh-oh. What if we added some uh, Twinkie Wonders, some donuts? Or some pie. Some pie. <laughs> <laughs> Will that throw well, us off balance? Well, I don't know. Let's what see what happens. Out? Let's okay. see what happens. <laughs> it's not too much. It's okay. not too much. It's only two ounces. Okay. Okay, it's not too much, but still, you can have your cake and eat it too. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> now remember, pastry has a lot of carbs yeah. and a lot of fats mm-hmm. and very little protein. A pastry is not balanced by itself. Yes. But what happens if we add pastry to a diet that is balanced? Right. Here you go. Calories that go up. Yes. To 2,400. Yes. But guess what happened to the protein? Oh, so we still have... A balanced diet. Down. Is that crazy? <laughs> is that crazy? That re- really is. It really is. Now, it has a lot of carbs, and obviously it's hiked up, hiked up the carbs, but not enough to ruin the diet. Right. See, for the most part, when we pick something up, we don't know um, if that pastry is uh, heavy in fat. or some, So we have to be more familiar with that. Because, But when we plug it in, what it is, so that'll calculate it. For It'll calculate us. it for us. So we don't exactly. have to know everything that's going on in every piece of food that we encounter. Uh huh. Okay. Uh-huh. And it did not affect the protein because it did have a little bit of protein. Okay. So this is the fab. That's the other fabulous part about a balanced diet. Uh huh. Is that if we're having a balanced diet and we're allowing ourselves to eat as much fruits and vegetables as we want, we can add a pastry every day and still lose excess fat. Oh, that would, I would be really nervous doing that i'm like 
Friday's free pastry day or Monday's that's, ice cream day. That's or... why I'm doing this all the way up to the fourth week. Okay? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm doing this. I know. I know. It, it's, it's, you're afraid. You're afraid. Yes, for sure. But I'm totally. Yeah. When, when I got to this point, when I, when I started working with, you know, approaching obesity through a mathematical equations, mm-hmm. um, and I went, went through cakes, and I thought, well, people should be able to eat pastry and lose weight. I mean, if my theory is correct, yes. I should be able to eat pastry. And guess who was my first subject? You. Myself. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Doctor, so, heal thyself. <laughs> exactly. And so, and so I was having my, my balanced diet. I was adding pastry on top of it. And when I would eat it, I would think, I sure hope I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm going to get real fat. <laughs> oh, man. Because I had been taking, I've been watching my diet for five years. And, and I've been losing the, my, my battle against, yeah. against I, I was doing a keto diet and I was gaining weight with a keto diet. That's why I had to change all my ideas to this. Yeah. And, and I thought, wow, if I'm wrong, I'm going to get really fat. <laughs> well, I, this is something that I feel intrinsically, and I could be wrong. It might just be me. That if I'm on a diet and I'm constantly feeling hungry and having cravings, then it's not the right diet. It's not the right diet. Exactly. Okay. It's not the right diet. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> so, one of the great benefits of a balanced diet is that by adding vegetables, fruits, and nuts, the plant remains balanced. Okay. So, we don't have to know too much about nutrition. We don't have to have a nutritional software. Okay. All we need to have is a basic diet that is balanced, mm-hmm. and you can find all sorts of balanced diets on my webpage, boliodiets.com. Okay. Uh, you go, you'll find all sorts of different diets, and they're all balanced. Nice. Okay, and they're all between 12 and 1,300 calories, some of them. There are some special diets that will go all the way up to 2,000, but it says there, this is a high-calorie diet. Okay. Well, I have to tell you, Dr. Bolio, I can be a little lazy when it comes to food. Um, I I might just happen to eat what's there or what's left over, and so I think maybe having a nap would be the ideal situation. Okay, great. Well, you have to go on a nap. <laughs> uh, we need a nap. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Well, Shirley can't be with me anymore, uh, but I'm very happy that she was here. I'm very happy that she was here with us. Uh, she has to leave and heal the world. Okay. Bye, everyone. <laughs> okay, Shirley, thank you. Thank you for being here with me. I think it, I think you guys liked it. Uh, she was asking questions I'm sure a lot of you had. So, um, balance diets. Look at this sad little lady. Okay, look at her face, how sad she is. Okay. Let's see. Um, the less restrictions in a diet, the easier it will be to follow it in the long term. I mean, anyone can do something in the short term, but only having salads five times a day during six consecutive months, guys, I've done it, and let me tell you, it's not fun, okay? You're, you're not going to do it. It'll get to the point where you just don't want to do it, okay? <clears throat> for, so for those who are on my Eat Every Hour Challenge, hey guys, if you're not in the Eat Every Hour Challenge, I do not recommend that you do this. Um, you first have to, whatever diet you're doing, you first have to add vegetables and fruits and then and then nuts, and then you would try the desserts. But for those who are in the challenge, Eat Every Hour Challenge, you can add a small portion of dessert at any time of the day, once a day. We can, you can also download the free template where you can uh, write down all your foods and yes, you guys are going to be having pastry. Look at all that delicious pastry. And, and it doesn't affect the balanced diet. I mean, what, how wonderful can that be? Okay, so number one, register everything that you eat. Okay, we, asked, we talked about that last week. If you don't know about it, um, remember, send us an email to boldyourdiets.com and we'll send you all the videos that explain all the things that we, a lot of these people are doing already. Uh, weigh yourself daily. Now we're asking you to weigh yourself daily. Why? Because you're re- registering. If you're not registering, um, you shouldn't weigh yourself daily. But you should register and weigh yourself daily. Now, you have to keep on eating every hour some veggies, some fruits, and some nuts or seeds. And if you're not taking your photos, what are you waiting for? Do it. Do it. Now, permanent loss of excess body fat is obtained by changing habits, not changing or reducing food. Be disciplined. Do not postergate. 
So if you guys want an appointment, yes, I'll be more than happy to be with you guys. Um, one-on-one -on -one appointments is the basis of any, any nutritional plan that I give is a balanced diet. But I will get off a balanced program as long as it doesn't affect your body. And we have to be checking your body to make sure that everything's okay. Um, so you can, you can uh, contact us. Here's the address. Uh, you can email us or you can phone, give us a phone call. And I'll be more than happy to help you guys obtain the most spectacular diet in the world, which is yours. Okay? Now... Stay connected. Stay connected on social media. Right now we're on Facebook, but I mean we're in, on YouTube. I'm sorry, but I also have a Facebook page. I have an Instagram page. So stay connected because we're going to be giving a lot of information, and it's time for us to be free from diets. Okay, let's free ourselves from diets. So thanks a lot, you guys. Um, I know I have not been interacting with with you guys, but I will be transmitting later on. I'll try to transmit it this Wednesday, this next Wednesday at seven, uh, so that if you have any questions, I can answer them. Okay, guys, have a great week, and may God bless you.